Hey guys, I'm back today with another video and this one is going to be on an affordable highlight bob wig. This one is from the company Unice or Unice Hair, however you want to say it. But they sent over this 12 inch 13 by 4, 150% density bob wig to show you guys. And I'm going to be styling this straight out of the pack. And the first thing that I'm going to be doing is adding some tint spray. I am using my Even New York tint spray in the color medium brown. And then I'm just going to let that air dry. Now the cap construction on this has your two combs on the side, a comb in the back, and your adjustable straps. I went ahead and adjusted my straps, and even when I put this on, I already knew that it was going to be too big for my head because this is an average cap size. I definitely needed something smaller, but I'm going to go ahead and just kind of push the hair back a little bit, and then I'm going to cut around the ears just so that it can fit up a little bit better because I do plan on using some adhesive just to make sure that this is laid down. I'm gonna work on cutting off this lace and me adding my tint spray, it definitely made it look a little bit more natural. So I don't really have to go in and do too much around the hairline once I melt this down. And the parting space looks good already, as you guys can tell. The knots on this are very small, so there's really no need for you to go in and bleach knots or do any of that. That is totally up to you if you want to, but you do not have to. So I'm gonna be using my Got To Be High Insta Hole Spray to melt this down. And then I'm gonna be using my blow dryer on a cool setting, just kind of drying it down a little bit before I place it on top of the adhesive and then I'm just going to use my comb the end of the comb and I'm going to press everything in because I don't want to have to worry about any of the lace rolling up with this spray it does not take long to dry down at all and that's the one thing that I love about it. And it's pretty much easy to clean up and I don't get any flaking. Now, as far as this hairline goes, I have touched up on this topic before when it comes to these highlighted wigs. The hairlines to me, they could be way better. I did end up trying to pluck out a little off of camera just to not make it seem so thick up in the front area. And then I am gonna be pulling out a little bit of hairs in the front, cutting them down shorter and just creating some baby hairs in the front just because I could not leave it the way that it was. I just felt like it needed something in the front. So that's my biggest con when it comes to these highlight wigs is that they definitely need to be plucked out better and look more natural like they are on the other wigs that the companies produce. So to set those baby hairs in the front, I'm gonna be going in with the Cream of Nature Foam. I'll make sure to leave links down below to the products that I'm using. And I know in some of my videos, I've been using different products, but I told you guys that I had purchase a bunch of different things just to kind of try out and see which ones I like. Not only did this foam smell good, but it gave a really nice soft hold. And it also did not flake up on me because sometimes depending on different products that you use, they do not mesh well together. And this worked well with the spray, the wax stick and everything. So I did not experience any type of flaking. So I did go ahead and tie down the front of the hairline. And I just went ahead and kind of cleaned up my wig groom because it does get messy when filming. And I just kind of let everything air dry down. And then I'm going to take the comb and just kind of run over those front sections because I don't want it to seem like it's just absolutely sticking to my skin and then i'm going to go in with my wax stick go around the hairline at the front of the parting space area you could not really see back there in that parting space but i'm going to take my hot comb and just begin to press everything out because i want this to be really nice flat and sleek This is a silky texture, so I'm gonna go in with my Kaposi flat iron, and I do have this turned up to 400 degrees. Now, while flat ironing this, I did notice right in the front area, there were some pieces that needed to be cut down. They were not as even as the back. 
the back of this wig, when I turned around, the back looked really, really good. But in the front area, it just did not match up with the back. So I did have to end up kind of customizing it and cutting it a little shorter in certain areas. And then I did also notice some frizziness with this unit, as you guys can see, as I'm straightening it out. So serum is definitely going to be needed. So while flat ironing this, I did notice that certain areas underneath the colors could have been done way better. Like, I guess when I think of a highlight wig, I just want it to be a certain way so that it could look super natural. And if it's coming off chunky in certain areas, then I just feel like it's not going to flow well. But you guys know I'm definitely going to fix this up and still make it look good. So I'm gonna be taking my Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Powder Palette and putting that into the parting space because while the parting space was kind of open in the very front, when you got to the back area, you could barely see it. So I needed it to be a little bit more open and natural looking. And then I'm gonna go around the hairline just a little bit. Now to finish this off, I will be using my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum. This is going to help protect it against any type of frizziness and flyaways, especially the flyaways. At the very top of this hair, the flyaways were giving me the blues, okay? It was like three or four hairs that just would not stay down at all. I ended up having to kind of pull them out, but this is going to help with that. So this is the final result of this Bob wig. I think the colors look really cute. I just feel like they could have been blended in a little bit better, but I do love the cut of it because it's short, it's simple, and it's very easy to style. Back of this unit, it was full. I love the way that it moved. Now I do have the 12 inches. It does go up to 14 inches and it starts at eight inches if you don't want a lot of hair. But I was impressed with the back of the unit. It's just when it got to the front, I just noticed it was not as thick as the back of the unit. I pulled out that hair in the front. It definitely did open up the hairline a little bit more, but straight out the box, I feel like the hairline just has to be worked on. It's just not up there with some of the other units. What you guys think about this unit? If you are interested, I'm going to make sure to leave the links down below in the description area. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Once again, turn those notifications on, share and like this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.